atmosphere, it can either polarise you and freeze you or it can actually push you on to do something that you wouldn't do before. When I first went down, it was the experience of, of, of being in the great outdoors with my dad. It was, it was that sort of bonding experience. And I, and I guess it's still that bonding experience, you know, going out with a close-knit team and through a combined effort, achieving our goal. You look through the sketches, the mapping, and, and just get a good feel of what's going on. But that doesn't stop you being nervous as you step over the edge. But that's part of it, you know, that's, that's the excitement that you want when you do adventure training, whether you're climbing, whether you're canoeing, or whether you're, you're caving like we do, it's, it's the thrill. Every cave has something that you go, wow, I, I've not seen that before. Uh, and, and that really is what caving is about to me. It's a new trip every time. It's developed my ability to work with other people, to have the faith that they're doing what they need to do and they're watching my back. It developed my leadership skills. It helps me understand where I'm lacking and the fact that I've got to rely on other people. Uh, and I think that's a, a, a key part to successful teamwork. The hardest cave, the most physical cave, it, it could be a, a fairly low level cave, but the navigation inside is really complex and just that that buzz to understand the geology of the cave and, and to get where you want to be and not get lost. I just find that pretty addictive, to be honest. You see something that so few people have seen before. You know, you can, it, it, it's almost like being on the moon in that some of these places that man just doesn't go that often. And you've been there, you've got there safely and you've got out. That is what caving is about. It's the whole experience.